Hello everyone, welcome to part 17 of Laravel 11 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB. So uh, from this video, we are going to start working on the Laravel 11 CRUD operations and we are going to work on the CMS pages. Uh, those are the static pages like uh, about us, terms and conditions, privacy policy. So we are going to work on all these kind of pages and in this video, we are going to create the collection, we will create the model, we will also create the resource controller as well okay uh, so first of all we are going to uh, create the collection along with the migration file okay and i'm going to show you these steps that we are going to follow so these are the steps that we are going to follow uh, for this uh, cms dynamic pages uh, okay so uh, first thing is that we are going to create this cms pages collection okay so we are going to create these collections uh, with these columns ID, title, description, URL, meta title, meta description, meta keywords, status, credit, and updated columns. Okay, so this is the command that we are going to use for creating the uh, creating the migration file as well as the model for the CMS pages. Okay, so it will create the model, this CMS page model. Along with that, it will create the migration file as well. This um, hyphen M is the uh, uh, is we have given. Uh, uh, here to to create the migration file okay so I'm going to run this command straight away uh, for our project uh, and I'm going to uh, open here my folder a uh, project folder sg docs uh, this is the project 11 I will right click uh, services new terminal uh, folder uh, if you are using the window you uh, you must go inside the folder and then you can run your commands okay if you are having the git bash or command prompt you can use that to run the artisan commands i hope that you know that how to run the artisan commands and this is the command that we must run uh, to create the cms uh, page so here you can see the create cms page table uh, see its file get, gets created i'm going to close the earlier files and we'll open this file create cms page table okay so this file has been created now i'm going to insert uh, here whichever columns i want to add i want to add all these columns so i'm going to add uh, all these columns along with their data type okay and after that i'm going to run that php addition magnet command so this collection this cms pages collection will get created in mongodb okay so i'm going to run this command okay uh, but first of all i'm going to open the mongodb okay uh, here mongodb i'm going to open the mongodb compile so here you can see the mongodb has opened we are going to connect mongodb from here so it gets connected you can see and now we are going to uh, open our database that is uh, i think project i'm going to open it once again that which is our project 11 okay so project 11 is our database name okay so i'm going to open this one and here you can see cms underscore pages collection does not exist right now you can see okay so uh, now i'm going to run the php addition magnet command we have already added the columns in this create cms pages table file uh, now i'm going to uh, run php addition magnet command and uh, see uh, it done successfully create cms pages table done now we can refresh from here and we must see the new collections cms underscore pages and here you can see the new collections have come up cms underscore pages new collection uh, has come up now okay so after that uh, now uh, we will uh, add here the cedar file okay so now we are going to add the records uh, okay so for adding the records uh, we are going to add the cedar file okay so this is the command php addition make cedar cms pages table cedar so we are going to run this command now to create the cedar file so that we can able to add the default pages like about us terms and conditions all these kind of pages we can add okay so now we are going to open this cms page cedar file cms page cedar so a table cedar so i'm going to open this file and after that uh, we are going to add here we're going to include here the cms page as well at the top this model we are going to include and after that we are going to add these cms pages both these cms pages we are going to add here okay 
so i'm going to add these cms pages okay one is about us and another one is terms and conditions uh, see it will create these two uh, pages uh, the details of these two pages title description you and meta title meta description meta keyword and status will be one okay and um, now i'm going to open the database seeder and in this database seeder i'm going to i'm going to uh, command this one and we'll add this one cms page table seeder file okay uh, this one okay so now finally we will uh, run the php artisan db seed command see you can run the composer dump auto load if in case uh, this command gives some error then you can run the composer dump auto load As otherwise this one is not required we will finally run the php artisan db seed so that these two entries will get created see i'm going to run this command see the issue has come because here is one major change that we are required to do we are required to open uh, that cms page model we are required to open and in this model we are required to make the change we are required to replace this one uh, illuminate database we are going to replace this one with the mongodb okay uh, i'm going to open this some other model i'm going to open and here i'm going to show you that this mongodb laravel we are required to add okay this one use mongodb laravel in place of eliminate database okay we are going to use it like this mongodb laravel eloquent model okay so now it must work fine let's see let's run now okay let's run once again and php addition db seed and this time it has been done you can see this time it has been done cms pages table seeder is successfully created seeding database running done and now we can check their uh, two records must get created here and i'm going to refresh and we'll see uh, these two collection these two documents in this cms pages collection have been created now about us and as well as the terms and conditions with complete details okay so like this we able to create these two documents in this cms pages collection uh, so these are the steps uh, that we have taken uh, in this uh, particular video and in the next video uh, we are going to show the cms pages in the admin panel as well so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye